Hey everybody, let's take five minutes out of our day and meditate on God's word together. The miracles of Jesus were part of the message of Jesus. The miracles tell us something about the nature of the kingdom that he preached. On more than one occasion, Jesus was accused of using demonic forces, demonic powers to fuel his own miracles. That He's casting out demons by the Lord of demons, they said. And in Matthew chapter 12, verse 28, Jesus contradicted them. He said there, but if it is by the spirit of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. The miracles of Jesus show us what his kingdom is about. They're connected to his kingdom purpose. He's saying, if you see me casting out demons, then this is the kingdom of God here. The, the, the miracles Jesus did, the casting out of demons, no more sickness, healing, all the healings he did, all the nature miracles are showing that all the effects of sin will be undone by his kingdom. His coming is going to undo everything Satan did. John the Baptist was curious about Jesus. There were a lot of false ideas about what the Messiah would be. Even John the Baptist had his doubt. He's in prison and he sends to Jesus and asks him, are you the one who's to come or do we wait for another? And in Matthew chapter 11, Jesus sends back to John. Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight and the lame walk. Lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear and the dead are raised up and the poor have good news preached to them. And blessed is the one who is not offended by me. So all the different miracles Jesus did are showing us this is how you know the kingdom has come. This is what the kingdom is all about. The healing miracles Jesus did. They're showing us that he's undoing the, the effects of sin. He's undoing sickness, which comes from sin in a fallen world. Jesus raised the dead on more than one occasion, showing that the ultimate power Satan holds over us, the fear of death, is being undone by his kingdom work. The exorcisms Jesus did, casting out demons, was just a full frontal assault on Satan's kingdom. There in Matthew chapter 12, he says that you first have to bind the strong man. Verse 29, how can someone enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man? Then he may plunder his house. In that case, Jesus is saying that he's the one who's going to, he's entering Satan's world. He's in the world that Satan has a foothold in. And he's binding up the strong man. And he's going to plunder his goods. Meaning he's going to clear house, clean house with Satan's dominion and put his kingdom here. And there are many, many nature miracles that show us God is renewing the whole created order. He, he's the bread. He multiplies bread. He's the bread of life. He's going to give us everything we need to live. He calms the sea. He walks on the water. He, he does all kinds of wonderful, miraculous things that show He's doing something to change how the world is right now. In short, the miracles give us a glimpse of the better world Jesus is making. Philip Yancey put it very well when he said, The miracles he did perform, breaking as they did the chains of sickness and death, give me a glimpse of what the world was meant to be and instill hope that one day God will right its wrongs. To put it mildly, God is no more satisfied with this earth than we are. Jesus' miracles offer a hint of what God intends to do about it. I think he's right. It was in Jesus that God won the victory over sin, over death, over everything. And it was precisely in the cross that Jesus did this. We'll talk about that next time we take five. I'll see you then.